If you know anything about Postex, you know how powerful it is and so, so, so easy to use. But if you don't know anything about Postex, you're about to find out its potential because we're going to be testing its limit and try to replicate the newspaper theme using Postex. Can we really do it? Stay tuned to find out. First of all, we can make sure we have the Postex plugin installed and activated on our site. You can recreate the newspaper theme by adding a new page, but I'm going to be using the site builder of Postex. If you want, you can just import one of the beautiful templates. But since we're going to recreate it, I'm going to click on start from scratch. So let's have a look here at the newspaper theme. We have the header, the body, and the footer. We're going to be focusing on the header and the footer later in the video because with Postex, you can create custom headers and footers for different pages of your website. So stay tuned for that as well. We will start with the body. We have the new sticker. So that's a good start. Let's start with the new sticker. Postex has its own Gutenberg based new sticker. So I'm just going to search for that. Yes, there it is and select it. Now what I'm going to do is, instead of customizing it right now, we will go to the design library and check the selection of pre-made patterns they have, which is similar to this one right over here. So this looks pretty similar besides the color and we can customize the color. So we're going to do that. I'm going to import this and I'm going to customize it to look exactly like this. So let's do that. All the customization settings that you need are right over here, starting from the navigation, decor, label, body, time, etc. So I'm going to save you some time and do it myself. And it's done. I did everything that I could to make it look just like that. And this is ready. With the new stick out of the way, we're going to move on to this post grid, similar to the new sticker. We just kind of click on the add button and look for the grid that is similar to that. This looks pretty similar. Yeah. And we're going to go to the design library. Okay. So this, this is, this is similar. This is very much similar. So I'm just going to import this and customize it from my settings right over here to make it look exactly like that. And there you go. We have success. Similarly, using the same process, you can recreate the entire website, including this post module, Postex has its own post modules. And yeah, the sticker thing is kind of interesting. I'm going to show you how we can get the sticky column right over here. And yeah, so let's get to that. To do so, we'll have to use the row column of Postex. I think, yeah, this looks good enough. And I'm going to insert the post module, which looks similar to this and customize it to look like that. A few moments later. So I have created rest of the blocks similar to the newspaper themes block. Everything that you see here has been created using Postex's Gutenberg blocks. And the process was still the similar. I selected the block from the block library, went to design, selected whichever is similar to the newspaper themed block and customize it the way I needed it. Also, we have the filters over here. You can see you can do that too with Postex. All you have to do is select the block that you want to add the filters to. Scroll down in the block settings till you see the filter option. Enable, disable, add the filter that you want. 
and that's it. That's how you get the filter. Then we have the sticky column. You can see that this column doesn't move until this column ends. To do so, you need to use the post access row column. Select the column that you want to add the sticky feature to. And you'll see the sticky column option right over here. Enable, disable, customize it the way you want. With that, we are done with the main content of newspaper theme. Now we will focus on the header as well as the footer. So just like our front page, we're going to use the site builder to create our header, footer and 404 page. The best thing about post is header and footer builder is that you're not restricted to the theme for your headers and footers. You can have different headers and footers for different pages of your website. It's all very dynamic. So let's create our header. Start from scratch. And for reference, let's have a look at this. Okay, they have their site logo, a banner, search bar menu. That's all pretty simple. We can do that. I'm gonna use the row column. Yeah. And page. And there you go. Our header is ready. Once it's done, we will click on the publish button. And here's where things get interesting. We can decide where we want this header to be displayed. Right now I'm gonna set the entire side, but if you want, you can decide this header to go to a single post or your archive page and so on. Once we'll click on save conditions. Our header is good to go. Now let's switch over to the footer section. So this is the footer of the newspaper team. It's pretty simple. They have the post list, category list. Post six has its own post list block and you can adjust it using the query builder to display the post that you want to show, including the category list. So yeah, and you can set the images of the background using the row column. So let's get down to it. Start from scratch. The column. Let's take the entire block. And to change the image background, we'll go to background and wrapper, select image, select the image from our media library. Then we adjust the setting. Then we insert the post. And there you go. Our footer is ready as well. Now let's see how it looks in the front end compared to the newspaper team. So there it is. This is the homepage that we created using Postex to look like the newspaper team. So that's it for this video. But if you have any other team or website that you would want us to replicate using Postex, do drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming content.